for retirement without worry. About 65 million Americans are part of Generation X, and they will be the next generation to retire. A recent TD Ameritrade survey finds many feel uneasy about it. Only 33% of Gen X workers expect to be very secure in retirement. Almost half worry about running out of money. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here. Good morning. Good morning. So what's the key thing to remember? Let's be incremental. I know it feels daunting to maybe run even a calculation and you see what, how much you have to do, but really the key here is to start, start early and a little bit at a time. And also recognize this. The longer you work, the better off all of this really does end up. Meaning that I know everyone's, oh, I want to retire early. But you know, if you look at retiring, say, instead of at 62, extend that by, say, four years, you will have a third better lifestyle in retirement. So working longer works. Now, with a caveat, you can't count on working because maybe your boss doesn't want you or maybe you can't physically do it. So we want you to save, but also consider with a life expectancy a little bit longer these days to keep working. So I'm in Gen X and you now are telling me I've got to work more. Yes. Thanks, Jill. Uh, the other thing though is, isn't everybody always worried about retirement? Absolutely. I mean, only if you're on easy street do you think, yep, got it ready, I'm yeah. done. And All even right. if you are on easy street, there are other things that are making you nutty. So the reality is that we are concerned about retirement and yet every survey that we look at shows that in fact, we're worried about retirement but we don't do anything about it. So, and I think the reason we don't is because we're really scared of stepping on the scale, to use the diet analogy. And so the reality is for most people, again, doing a little bit, meaning auto enroll in your 401k and try to do maybe 1% extra every single year at the most you possibly can. It doesn't have to be the max, but you know, you can put $18,500 into your 401k. Do the best you can. You don't have to max out this minute, but you have to try to get there. So how about when it comes to debts, what should you pay off now? And how much do you think you need to put aside? I know it varies depending on your lifestyle. I think that the, the number one priority is always that consumer debt. So it's credit card debt or auto loans that have higher interest rates. So you start highest interest rate, go to lowest interest rate. Then you have that emergency reserve fund. That emergency reserve fund should be anywhere from six to 12 months. Don't give me your, I know what you're going to say to me. It's too hard to do six to 12 months. You always tell me that. But that's, we're striving for that. I we're wasn't going to say that this time. But I know, I heard you, I heard you think it. <laughs> um, and then try to max out. And by and large, please, I know people want to actually claim social security early. Try to wait until your full retirement age. The numbers work better. All right, Jill, thanks.